Think about it. Have you ever, I've never seen my freaking neighbors bringing in groceries, dude. We haven't had authentic weather in about 300 years. It's all manufactured, and it's currently being man manufactured by, yes, you guessed it, George Soros, Klaus Schwab, <laughs> Bill Gates, and Ellen DeGeneres. The world is flat, and the world actually exists on, exists on this disk model. There's some argument that the uh, brother of Jared came over an ice wall. You Wait, you, you think of... the Titanic was a sacrifice to Poseidon? Humans are an Anunnaki crossbreed of chimps and pigs. This is part of why they are pigs are not allowed to be eaten under kosher law. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Midnight Mormons. I am your host, Cardinal Ellis, and today I'm joined in the studio by Kwaku L and Brad Whitbeck. And if you're a fan of the show, you know that we're also fans of conspiracy theories, especially one, Kwaku L. So Brad Whitbeck here has a little bit of a challenge. He's going to list 25 conspiracies. Some may be true, some may be false, and Kwaku's going to see if they can all be justified to see if this conspiracy world is actually internally cohesive enough to make sense so brad where do i go wrong uh you don't we're just gonna start it off i, I don't know if it's 25 i didn't keep exact track okay a bunch but well, we're gonna brad you don't have to keep exact track because numbers don't actually exist keep going oh my gosh no. <laughs> so um for starters i i basically just did a deep dive into every conspiracy i could find Good. and we're gonna start it off easy with <laughs> there is an ice wall around the world well, I mean, yeah. So when you look at the actual wait, this is a conspiracy. There's an ice wall around the world. Yeah, yeah. Antarctica is fake. It's an ice wall yeah. around the world. So Antarctica is fake, and it's not just that Antarctica is fake. Um, the world is flat, and the world actually exists on exists on this disk model. So where we consider all of the the how we consider the con is my hair look weird? Go back. No, it looks great. It look, it looks weird. Why does my hair look all? It's like slanted to one side. Like the earth. Looks like a, That's because you got bed head, <laughs> bro. Freaking bed head. Let's come back. Ah, I look kind of dirty, but it's fine. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, so here's how it works. The continents, Europe, Africa, Australia, Asia, all those continents are right here. But surrounding all of them is a wall of ice. And this wall of ice is not talked about or written about on any of the official maps given to us by George Soros. But the actual independent maps that are given to us have... I should have been keeping a ticker of, of how long it took for George Soros to get mentioned in this episode. Um, so then, uh, the, the the ice wall, what it also does... I can't it, believe he came up on the first <laughs> Yeah, thing. he is. He's in all of them. So um, the ice wall actually divides the first Earth from the second Earth, Right. So, so we live. There's in, two Earths now. There's more than two. Is yes. the second Earth hollow Earth? No, there's a middle Earth. Just, just wait. Okay. So, so we live in um, <laughs> um, Earth, and there's Duo Earth, and there's Trini Earth. Okay. Now there's three ice walls. I mean, there's two ice walls. So the first ice wall keeps our Earth there. We don't get to know about the other countries that exist outside of that ice wall. Duo Earth is where that comes in. And that's where you have the other countries like Lumeria, Continent of Pan, um, you know, Cibola. Uh, some people say Atlantis is low there. I think Atlantis is in our first Earth. And then outside of that one, you have the Greater Earth or Trini Earth. Earth Trin, I, I, there's a better word. There's a couple different terms for it. But in that Earth is where you have the other lost colonies and the other lost continents. Is this where Hagar went in the Book of Mormon? In Probably the Bible? not. Oh, okay. But Keep there's going. some argument that the uh, brother of Jared came over an ice wall. Really? Read the Book of Ether with the context of, of, of going through incredible ice. Oh, is it? does the scripture actually say, Brad, that he went through incredible ice? Not no, no, I'm words. just saying just read, read, read the book of okay, Ether. Okay, okay, keep going. Read it, with, <laughs> read it with a conspiracy lens. It'll say anything you want it to say. No. <laughs> so that's <laughs> <it's> just like... <laughs> but, okay, so... Yeah, so so actually there is an ice wall and there's two ice walls around the whole earth. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, um, wait, did see. we just connect? Tell me, did we just connect like five conspiracies 
of your big list, or was that just one? Well, that's oh, that was only one. Yeah, so yeah, I, that's just one. But they they might come back together at some point. You uh -huh. know, but, okay, um, cool. Keep going. Um, okay, next up, airplanes are not real. Well, I mean, you a, flew here on an airplane. Okay, well, did I? So, <laughs> what one thing people have to keep in mind <laughs> is that okay, one, we don't have any evidence that anyone's ever flown on an airplane. <laughs> we don't. We don't. Do you know why? Okay. So, uh, the actual airplanes are kept only to be used by the government and the military. What they do with us, because it'd be a disaster first if we go that high up, because we would obviously see that there's no curvature to the Earth. And this entire fake world we live in rests upon the model of a global Earth, right? These globe cucks really believe... That they can follow, uh, you know, the, the lies of Werner von Braun and stuff, right? So the minute you start really looking into this, you realize what they've actually done is they've put us in far technology. And these far technology, you know what they're called? What? Um, they're called automatic portals. So they can actually translate you from one part of the earth to the other part of the earth really, really fast. But what they do is they put you in this machine, almost like a roller coaster. By the way, look up how roller coasters played a role into the modern airplane. And they put you in this machine that really just shakes and moves. And those windows, you think, you know how they always have the movies of the, oh, never, never hit a window outside, never break a window of an airplane because you'll get sucked out and you'll all die. They always say that. But, you know, you break a window of a car, it's fine. But for some reason, if you're just up, it doesn't work. For, I don't know why. You can't do that <laughs> because the windows themselves are fake. The windows themselves are television screens that are projecting an image. And so they make it real, oh, they'll give you more turbulence, uh, da, 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 da. and they do all sorts of things to make you think that you're actually traveling. But what you're doing is you're sitting on a pad for quite some time until they actually beam you or teleport you to the new location. Because teleportation is better for people because, one, when you teleport, it, uh, it ruptures part of your DNA. And it also, um, yeah, yeah, it does that. It does a number of things to your body. So that's why the more you fly, the more unhealthy you are and the more imbalanced you are with your hormones. That's why you're always in a bad mood to get out of a plane because you've actually been going and teleporting, but you don't realize it because you're kept in this sort of, um, uh, you know, hydrocoptic magnetic device that uh, is able to block all of the, uh, the rays and the signals that would, you know, normally tell you that you've been transported at the speed of light. So what it really is is mass teleportation happening all the time. And that's purposefully to harm the human body, harm our minds, harm our DNA, and prevent us from actually seeing what the world really looks like. And that's just number two. Yeah. Keep uh -huh. going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. I'm actually, I got to admit, Kwaku, at this point, I'm impressed. And the fact that you just like, you know, got out some, some, what's that? Gung cha. <laughs> Boba tea gung cha. Boba tea <laughs> called. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that makes it even better. Okay, now here's my one question though. I've heard the whole birds aren't real conspiracy thingy, so I, I'm assuming the planes aren't real was just made up by Brad as one of the fake ones, right, Brad? No, no, no. This one's real. Okay, well, I got. Can I tell you one that I'm like struggling with the conspiracy theory lately? Just before oh, we continue yeah, on your yeah, third, yeah. it kind of like wigs me out for a solid like two or three minutes, and I haven't been able to get over this one. Um. And I'm wondering, is it just like some kind of mental, like an optical illusion where just your brain blocks something out just because the way it's wired or not? But you know that TikTok that went around that said, you know, you're living in the matrix. The proof you're living in the matrix is the fact that you've never your neighbors aren't real because who's seen their neighbors bringing in groceries? <laughs> and, and think about it. Have you ever I've never seen my freaking neighbors bringing in groceries, dude. I have. You have? Yeah, but I live in like a I live in like a townhome zone where there's like a lot of us. But Cardin, I've been to your house at this point hundreds of times. I don't think I've ever seen your neighbors. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, do people live on the street, dude. <laughs> you know what I said? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, right. maybe. So, maybe so look, like, and so I look back and I was like, no. Once I was in New York, and there was a lady who had, I didn't know her. So she might have been part of the Matrix. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I saw that she had a bag of groceries. And I remember commenting that she had brought home book covers from Trader Joe's. Mm. Because, you know, when I was a kid in the uh, the 90s, you had to put 
paper bags on the history books and the English books that you got from elementary school to keep them better. And so jokingly, when school season started again, everybody would order paper bags because they would convert them into book covers. Right. Mm. So anyway, um, I've only can remember one time that I saw a neighbor bringing in groceries in my entire life, dude. So, yeah, that one freaked me out for like 30 seconds. Then I got over it. But mm. yeah, so you got to add that one to your list. Keep going, Brad. All right. So next up, we've got Harp Weather Weapons did Katrina. Oh, for sure. So when Kanye West said George Bush doesn't care about black people, he was actually referencing this, right? Oh, so yeah. So when yeah. you start to think about how they Kanye? Have, yeah, Kanye back in 2006. I, I remember so. when he said George Bush hates black people. Yeah, but like, he's specifically referring to this. So what they've done at the Pentagon and, and the World Economic Forum is they've been able to actually create these uh, these these well, they're weapons, but they're machines that shoot these lasers into the sky um, using hydrocoptic marzal veins. And what they do is they... Uh, uh, hydrocoptic... Yeah, so the original machine um, consisted of, of a base plate completed... No, the original machine um, had a base plate of prefabulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a pentametric fan, right? So when you look at the lasers that go Did into the sky... Did you just label do, that TikTok... Or did you what? just rehearse that TikTok? I don't know what TikTok you're talking about. Oh, there's what a TikTok where somebody just yeah. uses a bunch of crazy nonsensical uh, uh, technical terms while pointing to something complicated <laughs> no, just no, to no. sound no. intelligent. <laughs> oh, that no, sounds no, no, fun. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not. There. It's not. You're, you're thinking of the retro encabulator. It's not that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so anyway, as the lasers are in the sky, what they do is they create uh, a rupture of the actual system. We haven't had authentic weather in about 300 years. It's all manufactured, and it's currently man manufactured by, yes, you guessed it, George Soros, Klaus Schwab, <laughs> Bill Gates, and Ellen DeGeneres. And so what they do is they're able to move clouds, they're able to move winds, and, and, and they're actually able to take up the rain. And this is why they're okay with the sea being destroyed, right? Which is why Xi Jinping and all these leaders destroying the water. They're okay with that because the more polluted water they bring up, the more they can actually put into these these hurricanes and so on and so forth. This was just this was declassified in a CAA document in 2015, um, and they talked about how the weather is being completely manipulated by the U.S. government and the Chinese government and the Swiss. So yeah, no, I mean it, it's real. And what was Katrina? Katrina was done as a form of a mass sacrifice to who? Poseidon, right? So the fallen angel gods, Poseidon. aka the Greek Roman gods, um, Poseidon's still one that they all worship in mass. Poseidon is the one that they sacrifice to the Titanic to, um, and so they have to give these sacrifices. And the one sacrifice was okay. Poseidon, you can wait, come and you, can you take a bunch think of the Titanic was a sacrifice to Poseidon? Well, of course, because uh, 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 first, um, uh, what, what's his name? Um, 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 uh, John Jacob Ashcroft and and all these super super rich guys. Oh, yeah, the Ashcrofts. Okay. Guess Who's what? The they uh, they were the only Christian uh, uh, at this point would be equivalent to billionaires in the world at the time. The rest of the people that wanted to start the new world order, they were all pagans who were hanging out at Bohemian Grove and having sex with Mark Twain and prostitutes and things like that. These guys opposed it. So their idea of they can get rid of them and they could also get rid of their intelligence or their spirit from affecting. Um, uh, their plans on this earth was to sacrifice them to Poseidon. Now, if S Poseidon was able to get that sacrifice, I'm not sure. They probably were saved by the Lord. But the reality is they do these water sacrifices all the time. And um, uh, Hurricane Katrina was actually a sacrifice to Poseidon. And what they did was he said, I need to target a place that's already welcomed me in because Poseidon can't come. First, he's not going to come to Utah. He's going to go to where? New Orleans, where they practice a lot of well, witchcraft, well, right? Also, doesn't the general half-mile elevation above sea level of Utah kind of preclude it from an invasion? Well, until Utah becomes super wicked, and then it falls into the water. It's and Bonneville happen. returns. Yeah. And well, it's funny. Lake Bonneville, the prehistory. <laughs> okay, wrong on. Keep well, going. Well, it's funny that you mentioned Bonneville, because where does the word Bonneville come from? It means land of bones. Where is the land of bones in the Old Testament? Jeremiah raise up dry bones. The Nephilim. The mass graves, the land of bones, right? Oh, They're looking okay. at the book of Numbers. Mm. So, so um, you think the Nephilim are somewhere in the Great Well, the Salt Nephilim are, guess what? The children of the fallen angels. And it's ironic that when they were washed away, in what world cataclysm were these the large bones? Right underneath where? Lake Bonneville. 
So that land of dry bones, the bones of the giants, was filled with the water of Noah's flood, and Deseret was built on top of that until we become wicked and we fall back into the waters of sin. Wait, so you're saying, okay, I want to I wanna get this one. I, I want to make sure I got this right. That Bonneville means lake of dry bones. No, no, Bonneville, land of bones. Land of bones, okay. And Boneville. Boneville, you're right. Okay, so Boneville has the bones of the Nephilim. It, the, the lake is created by the flood of Noah. Yeah, she killed the Nephilim. That killed the Nephilim. Yes. Okay, well, actually didn't kill the Nephilim because it was post-flood that they fought Goliath. Yeah, some, so, some some stayed, right? I mean, that's why they went yeah. to the concave. It's Mount Olympus. They were tall enough that just, you know, the flood only came up to here. They could still breathe, right? <laughs> so, well, anyway. I mean, the, 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 Satan's prophets told them what was coming as well. So that's why some of them were smart enough to go and hide into where Mount Olympus. Dude, this is awesome. Okay, so how many more of these do we have? A lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, going. cool. Uh, let's <laughs> let's swing out to the side a little bit here. Uh, humans are an Anunnaki crossbreed of chimps and pigs. This is part of why they are pigs are not allowed to be eaten under kosher law. Right. Well, if you look at the uh, Epic of Gilgamesh, in the Sumerian text, especially the Sumerian tablets, Sumerian tablets. I call 17. BS on that one. <laughs> That's got to be one of the made up ones. What? This one. Did we catch? Is this one of the ones you made up? Is this? No. Yeah. Sumerian tablet 17b, um, which was exhaustively written about by who? Zechariah Sitchens. Um, wrote about how first Anu, okay, was. Um, uh, you have Enlil, Enki, and Anu. And it's essentially the Garden of Eden story, but it's reversed and it's flipped. And human beings were created by um uh were created as a slave race for the gods the anunnaki and interestingly enough human beings were not created first in all of the uh, uh, accounts of the creation of the world the animals came first yeah yeah now why is mm -hmm. that we're taught evolution and we're you know we're, we're taught all these things but well, the uh, the secular evolutionists mm. would say that because simpler life forms evolve into more complex life forms, and we assume we're the height of complexity. But you ever seen a great white shark? Yeah, we're not the height of complexity. Animals came first. We were crossbred by Anunnaki fallen angel extraterrestrial beings who came down with high technology to create. Um, uh, human beings and we were created as a slave race but ironically we were given was the for mining gold right yes for mining gold this is also, this is also done in Africa just look up you know what uh, Credo Mutua has to say um, and uh, yeah Credo Mutua talks about it with the uh, the uh, um, uh, uh, Chitahuri right the the, the 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 hybrid race of of lizard gods who are also referred to as Anunnaki and they're able to they wanted us to be slaves for gold and at this time, human beings, when they were first created, were actually had no um, had no gender. We were genderless beings. We were androgynous, and it was only when we had to realize we had to split into two different, um, uh, you know, uh, genders for uh, human population to continue. And this was done because Prometheus, who taught human beings fire, the knowledge of light the fire of knowledge, this was done in reaction to um, us being this slave race. And this Prometheus, a.k.a. Anu figure, um, was, the, uh, was the catalyst of human beings understanding their, their, you know, their inner divinity. Uh, so Prometheus was a good guy then? Yes, Prometheus was a good guy, and then he he was he was you know cast okay. away by the evil gods. This is where Gnostics also get a lot of their stuff from, right, with the, okay. the idea of the Demiurge. And so now what you have is a world where men and women can fall in love and they have the idea of the twin flame because the one flame is the is the person but the twin flame the duo and where do the rest of those um uh original androgynous beings go uh maybe past the ice wall i was gonna say hollow earth past the ice wall okay to, to duo earth so now we are here as one gendered beings men and women created to be slaves to mine gold and other things and other technologies for their for these ancient evil gods. We were actually given the light of knowledge by Prometheus. And funny enough, we think things have changed. All we're doing is mining information for Mark Zuckerberg now. You can tell me he's not an alien god? All we're doing is mining information for Klaus Schwab 
and uh, and 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 you know, George Soros, George Soros, and uh, and, 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 and Susan what Wozniak do? or whatever. You know. Okay. What? Who? What are they going to do in the twenty third century when like George Soros is dead and we can't like? Well, he'll be reincarnated. Uh, Why well, you do have an answer for everything? Yeah. Well, George Soros. <laughs> George Soros has been reincarnated multiple times. His, 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 that, that being of evil has. George Soros was also, uh, for for example, Klaus Schwab is John Calvin. And before he was John Calvin, he was uh, Ramses the Third, or Ozymandias, as some people call him. Whoa! And who was uh, who who was um, uh, 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 Prince? Uh, uh, not Charles. Um, uh, the, the Queen of England. Who was she before? Mary Queen of Scots. Who was she before that? Cleopatra. Who should before that? Lilith. So these people reincarnated multiple times. It's the same group of people that have been controlling us forever. That's why they live so dang long. And they have to go get a new body afterward. And the new body is usually, you know, ritualistically. So only the bad people are reincarnating while the good people have to hang around and wait for the resurrection. Well, no, no, no. This no. next one might tie into that a little bit. No, let's hear it. Uh, <laughs> I am drinking out of a fire hose here. Keep going. <laughs> and technically, this is all about drinking. Uh, <laughs> it's the fluoride in our water is stopping us from unlocking our psychic abilities, yes. like things like reincarnation, things like. Yes, well, because um, so it's because it's calcifying your pineal gland. Yeah, okay, calcifies cool. the pineal gland. Wait, so, so the water we're drinking has fluoride in it yes. that calcifies the pineal gland. Yes, which makes you less spiritual, and more dumb, more susceptible to all the manipulations of the elite. And um, there's one group that's really, really in charge of, 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 of making sure that our spirituality is being absolutely diminished. And they're a small group that's very powerful and very rich, and they wear silly hats, and they're called the Je- Jesuits. And the <laughs> Jesuit order of the Catholic oh Church. Oh, God. Oh, what? <laughs> what? I don't the know Je- who you're talking about. Jesuits. Yeah, the Jesuits. So the Jesuit order of the Catholic Church knew about the pineal gland stuff for, for way, way back when they were created by the Illuminati, right? So the funny thing is here is there is something called um, the Akashic Records. Mm -hmm. The Akashic Records are the record of all of history. And people don't realize that their minds – you ever hear you and your wife, Carden, can sometimes just be like on the same wavelength that you complete each other's sentences, things like that? Yeah, it's usually like during – when she's like, whoa, whoa. (laughs) never mind. Okay. I don't know how she's completing your sentences during sex. But I don't want to know about that. We're both basically saying the same thing. Okay. It, <laughs> well, um, totally basically, that, that, that feels like Gabe saying, <laughs> like, I'm totally editing that out, dude. You know, Gabe in the office, like, when he's like, How will you know her last name? She'll be screaming it tonight. Uh, so she'll be screaming her own last <laughs> name. <laughs> like, what? Why are you Okay, keep going, Quigger. Keep going. So basically, the Akashic Records are the record of all of history, all of humanity. And every single person actually has the power to access this record. It's almost like a Google Drive or, or iCloud of information. Okay. It's just there. all Because cool. inf- time does not exist. There's no past, present, or future. All time happens simultaneously at once. It's why God can say the ends are in the beginning. Because it's not as if the beginning has already happened and the ends already happened. It's all happening at once. We're just experiencing it with a limited uh, view. So we can see the beginning and the end all at once. It's like written down in a piece of paper, basically. So... Um, Essentially, all information is there, but our pineal gland, our third eye, our third eye chakra, is the way we can actually access that. And what good would slaves be if they had all information? Not very, oh, very good. Yeah, no. They, they so what would they do revolt. is they, they slowly poison us. Yeah. And the modern it used to be cigarettes. The modern day thing is fluoride in the water. It calcifies the pineal gland. It essentially uh, makes your monitor your signal weaker, and you cannot actually access that cloud of information through meditation. So do you think the pineal gland is actually a physical a receptor to yes. spiritual wavelengths yes. like from like the Holy Ghost, for example? Yes. Interesting. Okay. And the craziest thing about Well, this- well hold on a second. Then inherently, so you're kind of on the Joe Rogan bus then, if there's things and chemicals that can weaken the pineal gland, you must inherently then believe that there's chemicals, like Nephi said, that exist in the land that could strengthen the pineal gland and that connection, right? Bison. Bison? Kefir. Bison. Non-seed oils. There's There's a lot of food you can have that actually strengthens your spirituality. So you're not going to go full Joe Rogan and say like, dude, you ever tried DMT? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're uh, not going to no, do DMT's that. DMT is probably a form of it, but unfortunately, these psychedelic drugs are used for in pagan god ceremonies to get you to pay to pray to, to pagan gods and false gods. Okay, cool. Wow, rock on. Keep going. Weirdest part about all of this, by the way, back with the fluoridation of the water. Okay. Guess when we started having the recommendation to drink eight glasses of water a day. When they put fluoride in it. Oh. Well, one also same well, year destroying the pineal gland also destroys your memory because you actually have the memory of your of your recent ancestors. That's why children will often say things that they didn't experience, but their grandparents did. You're like, how'd you know about that? Because dude, you, that happened in our family. That yeah. was crazy. You always you 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 can keep the memories of your recent ancestors. Unfortunately, when your pineal gland is uh, is classified, it's harder to do that, and you can't pick it up with the signals. And funny enough, they needed to do that in recent memory to get rid of tartaria. Sorry. Next question, Brad. All right. Okay, Brad, have you gone over a fake one yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was great dramatic timing, though. I, I give you credit. All right, keep going. Uh, so, next one. <laughs> Homosexuality is caused by parasites and can be cured by ivermectin. Mm. Well, interestingly enough about this one is when you look at the word homo sapiens, and you look at the word homosexuality. You find <laughs> okay. you find that both those terms have homo in them. <laughs> and what that actually shows is that um, uh, H O. Okay, what else has H O in it? H two O, water. And there's studies that show that the more water someone drinks the more likely they are to be homosexuals. Who else is a homosexual, Bradley? Poseidon. So the more you look into the history of water... um, That's why they call it gender fluid. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) So what I've done with my children is they can't drink water at all. I will only have straight children. They're not having any water. (laughs) So that's what actually really helps. And, and, and again, you look at uh, not the Jesuits, right, but that other group that controls everything. They have all the money, little hats, and they're always only hiring each other, you know, the G- Geminis. The way that they're able to. <laughs> What's the Gemini's hat? Oh, you, you don't know? Like their constellation. Yeah. Gemini has a constellation? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the we just threw under bu- the bus one twelfth of the human population that's born in a certain month on the zodiac. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're only like you know a tiny percentage of the world's population, the Gemini's, but they control everything. <laughs> and you know, it's why I prefer to hang out with Scorpios and Leos and Aries. But the Gemini's, what they've okay. done, because what water reflects the space, and space reflects the water. And so by controlling the water, you're able to control the space. You're able to control what's actually reflected off and what we see in the sky. Mm -hmm. Because the sky is just a reflection of what's here. Because it isn't round. It's flat. Mm -hmm. And that is why homosexuality has become so popular now as the water levels rise. (laughs) The sky quite literally reflects the rising amount of gay. This was the fake one, right? You can't say which one's real or fake. <laughs> oh, okay, Only cool. if I can talk enough to justify wait, it. Wait, you never answered the question about it being cured with ivermectin, because didn't you say there were studies that in England? That oh, yeah, yeah. That- so the ivermectin, the way... So so uh, when you look at um, ivermectin, well, what does mectin sound like? Rectum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! I got nothing on this one. <laughs> Wait, but you were telling me once there was a study that you read. Where oh, yeah, there was a study that someone put on Reddit about how, like, um, or Twitter about how uh, ivermectin cures cures homosexuality, and that's why they don't want people taking ivermectin during COVID because they can get rid of all the gay people. Okay, but no, wasn't it like based off some legitimate study where people that were having a, 
uh, parasites were administered ivermectin because it is a dewormer before all the controversy during COVID. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of people that have taken ivermectin. They self-report. Uh, they, they, they self-report being less attracted to men if they're gay men after they take ivermectin. However, um, uh, straight men also self-report being less attracted to women after they take ivermectin. So now there's there's also counter study to show that it might just dis- decrease your sex drive. It just decreases your sex drive. Mm. Oh, oh, interesting. I mean, I I haven't really like I, I know more about the Anunnaki than I do about how ivermectin in, in like LGBT gays and stuff but you know okay all right N- next one wow all right next one is um I don't know how we can publish that last one we're gonna have to find some way to make we'll, like, we'll have to cut that one out yeah. I just wanted I just wanted to see what quick would say with that one um, okay. so <laughs> next one is Every person needs to do at least three minutes of dead hangs per day to optimize their shoulder health. Um, well, when you look at um, so so, how do you prepare to die? Saint Paul says on the cath- his cathedral in Europe, "If you die before you die, you won't die when you die." You Okay, Death of the ego kills the natural self, so you're ready for the heavenly self. So if you kill your ego before you actually die, you won't have final death at a- the day a- of judgment. And what kills the ego better than deadlifts? Exactly. Okay, cool. And with your raging biceps right there looking all yoked. Dude, my hair is freaking... It's all, right. all good, dog. Don't all worry right. about it. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, so that, that one's accurate. There's no how, explanation how, really needed for that one. How many more of these do we have, Brad? Oh, only a few. Only okay, a few. Okay. okay. Um, now let's talk about the ice shell before the flood enabled humans to live much longer. Oh right. Well, um, you look at how Adam was living to nine hundred years and so. Mm-hmm. And where was the Garden of Eden? Atlantis. Mm. It was the Atlantean okay. Empire. Okay. So really, what well, we just had ancient technology that was given to us by Prometheus and some of these other individuals that was able to really uh, push forward the human lifespan longer than what is natural, and unfortunately. Um, you know, as our society began to be overtaken <clears throat> by, you know, that uh, that little group with all the power and the little symbols and the little holidays, the G- Germans. The, uh, the, <laughs> it's like, what else starts with G? Uh, <laughs> you, you're, you, you, you've gone from Jesuits to Germans to Geminis. You, uh, uh, is there anything left phonetically? Jews. Uh, did so, I, 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 <laughs> oh my god! We can't publish that. Oh, my god. so actually, it is kind of funny to me how like all roads always lead to Rome. Just like how like all conspiracies always go back to Jewish. Ultimately, people. degenerate. And no, no, I, it doesn't always. There's George Soros. It's like. It, it, modern and what is George Soros? Oh, probably Jewish for all I know. He's I, Hungarian, he's, a Hungarian Jewish man. Interesting. Well, he's actually not. He's actually a 65 million old reptile, but he is masquerading as a Hungarian uh, Jewish Okay, man. wow. Yeah. <laughs> so the ice shell. Yeah, so, so the ice shell protected us um, from the rays of the Swiss, the Swiss Alps. So the Swiss Alps were actually have been there for for quite a couple thousand years. And what they are is they're a, they're they're two de aging machines, or, or sorry, sorry, they they increase aging. So machines that shoot out um, energetic rays that are not detectable by the human eye because we can only see zero point zero zero five percent of all things actually in front of us. The electromagnetic frequency of visible light is zero point zero five percent. So we can't actually see the majority of what's in front of us. What we can't see, like, which is why we can't see certain things like other colors. But these rays that are shot out by the Swiss Alps actually age you further. And faster. these were being yeah at a faster rate than normal. But but the ice wall decidedly did not um, have uh, uh, the Swiss Alps inside of it. It was outside of the ice wall. It was only later brought in when you know when when the 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 uh, the, the uh, global cabal. flood. Well, the cabal and the fallen angels decided that it needed to be connected because if you can connect um, part of the fallen angel territory. And by the way, that area was always used as a giant portal to communicate with other beings. Hmm. Um, And now it is today, you know, um, with uh, with CERN. So in Switzerland. Yeah. 
<clears throat> okay, cool. So, so yeah, that's it, it, actually true. And it, 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 they always tried to age us faster, but they couldn't until the fallen angels brought them in after the flood. And that was actually one of the bad things about the flood, which is why it was promised he would never flood the world again, because the flooding of the world, unfortunately, thawed out the ice wall. So Noah's flood destroyed the evidence of the ice wall that we talked about in conspiracy number three. The first, yeah. So, so, so there were you know three. Now there's only two ice walls. Oh, okay. The other one was in the firmament, right? The because ice shell over the world. There's an ice wall for each member of the Godhead. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But what Whoa. happened? Okay. What happened to the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost when Adam went to the lone and dreary world? It was gone. It gave oh. the death of the first ice wall. Wow. Who okay. thought up this ice wall? I made that shit up right now. Oh, <laughs> 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 Okay, next up, <laughs> chemtrails are poisoning us all. Yes. Um, <clears throat> with aluminum. Yes, so first of all, aluminum foil, get it out of your house. Aluminum foil is actually bad for you. Like, it's really bad for you. People really? Are clicking on, oh, yeah, aluminum. When aluminum gets into your food, it, it, it has the same effects as, um, as hormone imbalancers, receipt paper. Uh, it's like microwaving styrofoam. It's very, very bad for you. It's one of the major causers of Alzheimer's. Aluminum? Yeah. It's been linked to aluminum in your deodorant, too. Check Jeez it out. Louise. Okay, keep going. So, the, um, uh, yeah, so, so the, sorry, repeat the question one more time. Uh, so chemtrails are poisoning us all. Yes. So they're shooting, so basically when, when these, when these, um, and that's the other reason why we can't actually fly in airplanes, because we would see the real airplanes going through that are shooting out the chemicals to poison us, which further calcify our pineal gland. So we're okay. being calcified by air and by drink. So 24-7. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, no, that's definitely true. And then we're further using aluminum in our deodorant, using it in our plates, using it in our forks, our knives, our cups, our supplements. Everything has aluminum. And, in fact, the aluminum tinfoil hat was made as a mockery because those people understood what was actually happening. And then the mainstream media twisted it to make it seem like, oh, they believe it's going to protect them from, um, from uh, George Bush trying to read their mind. But really, the aluminum was was a way of saying, we know what you're doing. Wow. Um, whew. Okay, Brad, is this the last one? Uh, I've got a couple more, but we can we can cut them down. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll make them fast. I'll make these fast. Okay, okay speed round. Birds are real. They're just fitted with cameras. Yes, so birds are a form of, they were the earliest testing of transhumanism created after the, the last Great Reset and the hiding of Tartaria. They needed a way to monitor, us, monitor all of us at once, and so what they said is, let's take some birds, let's combine them with robots and have them fly about. That's why they charge, have to go to power lines. You, you touch a power line, what happens? You die. They touch a power line, they're fine. Why is that? Because they are a part of the power system, a.k.a. the line of power coming straight from George Soros' nuts. And so... <laughs> Yeah. So basically, these birds and how they fly around, they always take pictures. By the way, they're taking pictures of the of our of our women, of our wives. Are, they're, they're all the time because these birds are perverts. They're perverts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you look at um, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, actually had a bird factory on his island in which he would construct the birds completely and send them around. That's how they could follow children. Okay, and then uh, okay. Mo modern music is brainwashing us and casting evil spells. E yeah, so that's just not a conspiracy. We just all know that, right? Yeah, well, well, mu well vibration and, and, and frequencies are, are that's how spells are cast, and that's how it always works. And they're doing it through music, and they're singing about certain things. For example, you can't tell me Cardi B's WAP has not had an effect on a lot of people. Also, her yeah. song WAP has too. Gross. Now, what do you <laughs> Why? Uh, and so, okay. when women, when when young girls are singing what they want over and over again, over and over again, and they're actually singing along to the beat, it's a form of convincing themselves that they want to be uh, hooers. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. okay. And, and then, last but not least, is um, Joe Biden is a clone. Oh. The real Joe Biden is dead. Oh, I mean, you know, even Donald Trump said that, right? Donald Trump even recognized that uh, he was about, um, about as much of a clone as Michelle Obama is a woman. I mean, he's about as real as Michelle Obama is a woman. Because Michelle Obama is actually Michael and Joe Biden uh, was actually made in a cloning lab. You see, the real Joe Biden passed away shortly after uh, the Obama presidency. But they needed him 
as the robot puppet to do all the bidding for Klaus Schwab, for the Rothschilds, for the Rockefellers, for uh, George Soros, for um, <clears throat> you know elements of the CIA, military industrial complex, Council of Foreign Relations, UN. So what they did was they uh, before he was, as he was dying, they cloned his body completely by using another person, actually a rather young person. And they transported a lot of his energy to that person. Is this what they're talking about in Get Out? Yes, yes, yeah. Like, oh, so Joe Biden is like the guy in Get Out that, like, for a second had a loosened moment. Well, and that's the, well. Here's the thing about about Get Out. Uh, Get Out's telling us the reality of what happened after the first uh, after the first great uh, the last great reset we had, because human beings didn't age as fast. You'll notice human beings live for a very long time. And they, you stayed young looking well into your 30s and 40s and 50s. But there was only one group that had been completely untouched by those Swiss rays. And that was in Africa, which is why blacks to this day look very young for a very long time. Mm-hmm. But they were able to victimize Europeans first who age faster. And so what they did with that was, oh, we can, we can switch people's brains out. And we can, our people can live longer inside of the bodies of these people. So that's actually one of the methods in which they're able to keep people uh, reincarnated. There's a transhumanist element to it for those who are not allowed at the top levels of the cabal in which it's actually the, the, the transfer of your energy and your spirit to other bodies through their hybrid alien Anunnaki technology. Um, and so now, yeah, we basically have a world in which uh, they're cloning these people. Now, Joe Biden's spirit is just generally not smart enough to make it very, very far like Queen Elizabeth was because she's one of the let reptilian overlords, whereas Joe Biden was actually one of the fish people. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. He was the son of Dagon. So there's uh, a competition between the lizard people and the fish people? Oh, there's always a war by land or by sea. And this, this actually- This is genius. This last like, one- This is amazing. I am loving this, dude. <laughs> this last one's tied into that, actually. All right. um, that the theory of evolution is an outgrowth of Dagon worship. Yes, because, well, what they're telling us is that, oh, we sort these little little amoeba things, and then we turned into little bug things and little fish things. And then we, and then we no, no, I, we were little fish things, and we were little monkey things and gerbil things, and with the fish things again, it, it, it all goes back to, look, we know they worship Dagon. Dagon was a fallen angel who decided to take the form of a half-man, half-fish. He appeared to stupid tribal peasants, as a god, and they believed him, because that man could breathe underwater and in air. And they said, this must be a god. He was super strong, he could fly, and he couldn't die, so he must be a god, and they worshipped him. And ironically, when they tried to overwrite the Bible, they put everything about Christ in the age of Pisces. Fisher among men can walk on the water. All those things. Now, what Christ was actually doing was making a mockery of Dagon for being a fallen angel. But people to this day, one specific church, has bought into the lies of Dagon, who's tried to take credit for that was actually mo- that which was actually mocking him, and that's the Roman Catholic Church, which is why the Pope has the f- Dagon fish hat. Wow. Woo! For example, Dagon can't, he has no real power, but Christ can make many fish and many loaves of bread out of nothing. Dagon can't even replicate himself. And Dave Gunn is nothing but a sex servant of Poseidon. And that's why you think Poseidon is gay. Yes. Because he's well, doing Dagon. Well, yeah. Well, Poseidon and Dagon have had a had an intimate relationship since <clears throat> they were both cast out of heaven. And Poseidon is also a fallen angel then. Carden. Yes. What do you call when you deep fry a bunch of fish and you eat them like chicken fingers? Those the plural of that is what? When you deep fry a bunch of fish and you eat them like chicken fingers, yeah, I've never had that meal before. What are know. those? What is that? I don't know. What are they? Breaded fish is yeah. uh, 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 breaded fish is oh, uh, chicken sticks. I mean, uh, fish sticks. What did you just say? Fish sticks. Hmm. Fish dicks. <laughs> All fish are gay. You ever seen a man fish and a woman fish having sex? You haven't. <laughs> you see, what the evangelicals tried to convince us all was that homosexuality was unnatural because they wanted to, they wanted to, 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 to get us away from the real history of the world. 
Homosexuality is very natural. It's responsible for the sea. Why is SpongeBob always living alone? <laughs> Why does SpongeBob have a wife, huh? I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions here. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Yeah. Well, okay, <laughs> we're ending this. I think that answers all of my uh, conspiracy so did we so far. did we literally just connect every <laughs> single conspiracy theory <clears throat> all in one all encompassing well, conspiracy gospel? Well, there's one we gospel. didn't quite get to. Uh, and now you have to, and then we got to end it. I my, uh, literally, I my mind is spinning. Right? Okay, there, okay, there's okay. no more reality. Okay, brace yourself, and you're gonna have to look one up for this. Okay, jeez, here we go. Look up Aaron Carter's last tweet. Aaron Carter. Oh, oh, well, I mean, wait. clearly, well, you know th this is the last one. It's that Shaquille O'Neal killed Aaron Carter because of the dirt. <laughs> Let me, let me restart. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Finish it, dude. Wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. There's literally a video titled, Here's the Real Reason Why Aaron Carter's Last Tweet Should so, Freak Everyone Out. Okay. Okay, what Here is it? Is. it? <laughs> the final one. <laughs> okay. Is that... Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so you guys are crying. I'm so sorry. And you know something I don't. What is this, okay. dog? Okay, okay. <laughs> the final one is that Shaq killed <laughs> <laughs> because of dirt that he had on him. Yes. Um, that he was going to spill to Kanye West. Yes. I know all about it. Okay, get up on that so mic first, and tell me what's up, dude. So, um, a lot of people don't know this, but Aaron Carter and Shaq are actually <laughs> brothers. <laughs> what? So Aaron Carter and Shaq are brothers. Did you know that? How? So, you'll notice, Shaq is very large. Almost larger than any normal man. <laughs> and when you actually realize that Shaq is just two Irishmen sitting on top of each other's <laughs> shoulders... With a giant black man bodysuit on, you realize why his last name is actually O'Neal. <laughs> so, Aaron Carter. Is, is Aaron Carter the light, Irish? The, yes, light hair, little okay. reddish hair. He's an Irishman. He's a Celt. He's well, I mean, he... Shaquille O'Neal is a Celt as well. Wow. He's two Celts. <laughs> Standing on top of each other. Yes. This has been done before in basketball with Yao Ming. Yes. That's why Yao Ming has two names. <laughs> Yao and Ming were two guys who, uh, who, who always, but here's where it's crazier. Nick Carter, Aaron Carter, yeah, Shay Carter, and Neil Carter, all together. Who else is a Carter? Beyonce. Beyonce is a Carter? Yeah. You didn't know that? For real? Yeah, it's her last name. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Be, wow, okay. What's Jay-Z's actual name? Uh, Google it right now. Look it up. Oh gosh, man! Okay, Aaron Carter's last tweet. What is Jay Z's real name? Oh, is this gonna be something crazy? What is Jay Z's real name? Question mark. Sean Corey Carter. <gasps> oh, now, who did Jay Z? Who is who? What? When Jay Z was young, he was a bodyguard for who? President Jimmy Carter. Shut up! Really? Mm hmm. And Jimmy Carter was clearly an Illuminati, Freemasonic initiate of all the secret information. Okay. Including the information <clears throat> on how to clone people. And one of the elements of cloning people is the idea of creating an entirely fake person with two personas. So you have more information to replicate from and therefore have less way of being caught cloning those. And then creating a clone of that person. So what you have with these two, um, you know, uh, Irishmen masquerading as Shaquille O'Neal is that when they die, you can actually replicate Shaquille O'Neal's personality exactly because you have so much information come from, coming from two different sources, like having two computers. It's also part of why he's so big. Yes, yes. And who knew about all of this? Who knew about all of this? The Carters. Jay-Z, Sean Carter, and his wife Beyonce, Knowles Carter. And they were very, very close with who? 
Kanye West. Oh, is that why Kanye's going all out war on all these conspiracies right now? Because Car- Kanye knows. Half of his friends have been clones this entire time. And Aaron Carter was going to spill the beans to him. He's going to say, look, Kanye, Aaron Carter, and Kanye's going to wake up and go, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to tell people about this. But they've already brainwashed Kim, Chloe, Courtney, and, um, and, 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 and Chris. And, and the only one who really understands the family is what's going on is Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner. Whoa! But the media won't give Caitlyn Jenner any more attention. They only give it to to Kim and Chloe and, and all those girls. So now, Kanye is alone, trying to fight off the new world order by himself. But he has our his loyal fans. Now, Kanye, do you know what Kanye's actual name is online? Easy. Q. Wait, you're saying Kanye West is Q? Have you ever seen Kanye West and JFK Jr. in the same room at the same time? <laughs> You Wait, haven't. JFK Jr. didn't he die? Oh, before? that's what they want you to think. John F. Kennedy Jr., where we go one, we go all. That is the other thing I needed to have a timer for was when how long it took for that's what I was they saving want that you one to for think the end. I was like, said. I gotta work in JFK Jr. somehow. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it. I I I I've never thought I understood what deer feel like when they see bright headlights coming at them. And now I do. I am impressed. I am overwhelmed. And now I'm also curious and I must know which one of those were fake, Brad. They were all real. Okay. Um, When aliens do shrooms, they see me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. This is going to be a pain to edit. Let us know, guys, in the comments... Um, which ones you thought were right? Which ones you thought were wrong? Is Quaco a wizard that is uh, spitting truth or lies? We don't know. This is Midnight Mormons. See you in the next program. Hey guys, Cardinal is here. Thanks for watching the video. Now, before we go on to the next video, we got to talk. We've got a ton of subscribers for which we are very grateful, but unfortunately, I'm going over the analytics and less than 15% of you guys have clicked on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Now, besides being subscribed to this channel, you need to click that bell icon so you get alerted to every video we drop. We're making about three videos a week, dropping them once every other day, and you're not going to see all of them unless you've clicked on that bell icon. So please make sure you like and you share and you subscribe and you also click on the bell icon. See you guys in the next program.